Hi, I'm Manu Vasudevan from the AWS by Doing team. Welcome to this educational video series, AWS by Doing, wherein you can learn AWS cloud computing by following along with an AWS Certified Solutions Architect. We acknowledge and thank the official AWS documentation material, which we have used to produce this educational video. Although we will try to keep all resources consumed eligible for the free tier, ensuring that you are not charged or minimizing your charges is your responsibility. To minimize charges, remember to delete all created chargeable resources after each session. This time, we will walk you through a hands-on lab on use the AWS Oxbox Stacks console to create a sample stack, start the instance and deploy a sample in Node.js app, test the deployed app on the instance, explore the settings of the stack, layer, instance, and app, explore layer monitoring reports, delete all created resources. Estimated cost for doing this hands-on? No charge, as Opsworx stacks and T2 Micro EC2 instances are free to your eligible. Prerequisite AWS skill level? Beginner with general understanding of AWS Opsworx stacks concepts. To set up a free tier eligible AWS account and a user with sufficient permissions, check out our video on Create Admin User. To begin, fire up a browser, preferably Google Chrome, and head to aws.amazon.com. Sign into the AWS Management Console as a user with administrator credentials. Getting started with the sample stack. This walkthrough shows how to use AWS OpsWork stacks to quickly create a sample Node.js application environment with just a few mouse clicks and without writing code. When you are done, you have an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, Amazon EC2 instance running Chef 12, a Node.js HTTP server, and a web app that you can use to interact with Twitter and leave comments on a web page. To create the stack, using your IAM user, sign into the OpsWork Stacks console. Do any of the following if they apply. If the Welcome to AWS OpsWorks Stacks page is displayed, choose Add Your First Stack or Add Your First AWS OpsWorks Stack Stack. Both choices do the same thing. The Add Stack page displays. If the OpsWorks Dashboard page is displayed, choose Add Stack. The Add Stack page displays. With the Add Stack page displayed, choose Sample Stack if it is not already chosen for you. With Linux already chosen for operating system type, choose Create Stack. AWS OpsWork Stacks create a stack named My Sample Stack. AWS OpsWork Stacks also adds all of the necessary components to deploy the app to the stack. A layer, which is a blueprint for a set of instances. It specifies things like the instance's settings, resources, install packages, and security groups. The layer is named Node.js App Server. An instance, which in this case is an Amazon Linux 2 EC2 instance. The instance's hostname is Node.js Server 1. An app, which is code to run on the instance. The app is named Node.js Sample App. After AWS OpsWork Stacks creates the stack, choose Explore the Sample Stack to display the My Sample Stack Linux page. If you complete this walkthrough multiple times, My Sample Stack Linux may have a sequential number after it, such as 2 or 3. To start the instance and deploy the app, in the Service Navigation pane, choose Instances. On the Instances page for Node.js App Server, for Node.js Server 1, choose Edit to change instance type to T2 Micro. Click Save. Click 
Click on Start. Do not proceed until the online circle is bright green. If you see a failure message, consult the debugging and troubleshooting guide. Now it is booting. A more powerful instance like C3 or M5 would boot up faster. As the instance is setting up, AWS OpsWorks Stacks deploys the app to the instance. Now it is running setup. All this may take a few minutes depending, but now it's online. To test the deployment on the instance, with the instances page displayed from the previous step for Node.js app server, for Node.js server 1, for public IP, choose the IP address. On the congratulatory web page, in the leave in comment text box, type a comment and then choose send to test the app. The app adds your comment to the web page. Continue leaving comments and choosing send as often as you want. To display the stack settings, in the service navigation bar, choose Stack. The My Sample Stack Linux page displays. Choose Stack Settings. The Settings My Sample Stack Linux page displays. To learn mo more about many of the settings, choose Edit and then hover over each of the settings. Not all settings have on-screen descriptions. To display the layer settings, in the service navigation pane, choose Layers. The Layers page is displayed. Choose Node.js App Server. The Layer Node.js App Server page is displayed. To view the layer settings, choose General Settings, Recipes, Network, EBS Volumes, and Security. To learn more about many of the settings, choose Edit and then hover over each of the settings. Not all settings have on-screen descriptions. To display the instance's settings and logs, in the service navigation pane, choose Instances. The instances page displays. For Node.js app server, choose Node.js server 1. 
the Instances Properties page is shown. To explore the instance logs, in the Logs section for Log, choose Show. AWS OpsWorks Stax displays the log in a separate web browser tab. To display the app settings, in the Service Navigation plane, choose Apps. The Apps page is displayed. Choose Node.js Sample App. The App Node.js Sample App page displays. To learn about what some of the settings represent, choose Edit and then hover over each of the settings. Not all settings have on-screen descriptions. To display layer monitoring reports, in the Service Navigation pane, choose Monitoring. The Monitoring Layers page is displayed. To explore additional views, choose the arrow next to CPU, Memory, Load, and Time. To delete the instance for the stack, in the Service Navigation pane, choose Instances. The Instances page displays. For Node.js App Server, for Node.js Server 1, for Actions, choose Stop. When you see the confirmation message, choose Stop. This process can take a few minutes. When AWS OpsWorks Stacks is finished, the following results are shown. For actions, choose Delete. When you see the confirmation message, choose Delete. The instance is deleted and no instances message is displayed. To delete the stack, in the Service Navigation pane, choose Stack. The My Sample Stack Linux page is displayed. Choose Delete Stack. When you see the confirmation message, choose Delete. The stack is deleted and the OpsWorks dashboard page is displayed. Thanks for watching! Please give a thumbs up to this video to encourage us and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Also, subscribe to this channel AWS by doing and we will update you regularly with our latest and greatest offerings. Write in a comment of what you liked and how we can improve. Happy cloud computing and we will see you again in the next episode from the AWS by doing team.